It's obviously important to preface that though with the fact that Cyclops had a pretty uncharacteristic performance in Stage 3 of A, Pack North. It was pretty displayed. Now Souffle could drop cause a bit of a distraction as he sends some flashes over towards Archives. Doesn't spot the foot, of course. That's, that's still Anaton down below, feeding information to the rest of the team. It can play plan denial. Aegator Gator finally commits to the flank over towards Blue, drops ED. And with 10 seconds to go, Diables are in a pretty bad spot. And Jackie Wu does have to fuse up Souffle. Finds the kill on the flank Blue Stairs. Five seconds, Jackie Wu pushes in. He's expecting the swing though at any moment here, and he's still going to deal with Adderton, who's prone right next to him. The Yoke Kite drone watching the whole way. Gator's in a really important position to try and maintain control of top square. If he's cleared, life gets tricky. Gatorado though, here's the call. We'll try and assist, but needs to monitor front desk as well. So Cyclops do have quite a bit on their plate at the moment, but Adderton steps up. Wow. A -A Gator as well. Suzu, it's three quick kills. Four Cyclops and now Edie's isolated down. Fuser eventually loses and Cyclops basically have everything covered over towards Square. The attack, the take from Direwolves completely unsuccessful. It's a 3-0 start. At least now be sort of the the next task on the checklist here for Direwolves. Minute 45 seconds remaining. Oh, that's an easy Ooh. one for ED. Gatorada's down. He'll be out for the count. Gatorada did actually find an elimination onto Pika though. So it ends up just being a one for one. I think all, in all retrospect, that probably should have just been a 1-0, but the timing was everything. Shadow, though, finds the big kill onto Anaton, and this is where that open area defensive hold has now backfired for Sai. Quite been overcome by Direwolves just yet. Then you've still got Aegator and Suzu Ooh. to deal with as well. And speaking of Aegator, He's now makes above. it a three versus three. Up above, that's another good oh. angle. There is that Nitro Cell from Black Grey. Oh. Aegator with that hatch advantage. Round over, it's 4-0. Shadow looks to progress forward. Five seconds left. There's nothing that he can do in this position. It's fallen apart for Dive Wolves on their fourth attack, but Cyclops able to secure that round off the back of a marvelous flank up above. And there's a most important one. There's Yokai's from Anaton. So we'll have to see whether or not ED can actually spot that utility out, help his team clear those positions. Keeping in mind, last time they attacked open area, it was the Yokai that confirmed the round for Cyclops. Shadow elsewhere, though, confirms a kill for himself with the S um, with the LMG. I was going to say SMG, but definitely not the case with that big chunky boy running around. Five versus four for Diables. Yeah, and still a minute and a half remaining on open area. I think this is fine. Now this is great. From fine to great to amazing. Five versus two in the round. Finally, Diables looking like they're going to get on the board here with a round win. Open area, well, lives up to its name because it was quite open. And now only Aegator remains in one versus five. Jackie Will will get plant down. This will be the round win. This will make it 4 1. And even a 4 2 scoreline, though, for C. And that's great signs. From Dai was not backing down without a fight. They're not deciding to just forfeit this half. Of course, Aegate able to get a constellation. Pull back over towards Elevator. Might be able to get a second. He's now just going to be absolutely sprayed down. Shorty for a second. The nade will drop. The Marty Dom isn't quite successful. And Aegator actually will really survive. But the team really wanting to be the one that falls first. That's not going to be ideal. Now, pick it down below, able to work some fur. ED does eventually try and make that play up main, but it's too little too late. Jackie Wu does find a trade, but Aegator finds his as well. Dai was slowly claiming square control, however. Yeah, and no surprise to see this sort of taking place right now. CEO Executive Cyclops, of course, can't quite just oh. sit straight on sight. Black Ray swings from Janitor, takes out Jackie Wu. Two-man advantage for Cyclops. This is very much uh, indicative of, of Bank. A couple of these sites, very much that sort of openness, forces defenders to try and take fights, and that's where Cyclops have been so successful so far. Pika finds a kill, makes it at least two versus three, just under a minute remaining. There is a hope here, a chance. Souffle with no grenades. Pika has three flashes, though. Could try and facilitate the play. He'll flash out, move forward over towards Jan, and Souffle admits that will find Black Ray. Now, there's a player over towards Long. I don't quite know where the second defender is. Either way, Dai was looking to push oh. him. In fact, it's over towards Main. Dai was going to isolate this, but Pika misses that initial shot. Still has flashes, sends it out, but flashes <sighs> oh, no. himself in doing so. Skeleton key in hand, but of course, that defender's not going to push. Or will he? Pika might get a free kill. He does. Gatorado just absolutely feeds him. Now, Anaton is 1v2. Oh, yeah, that should be the round. Souffle closes it out. Anaton gets caught over towards Long Desk. Isn't able to really find a whole lot. Black Ray needs to go big on the vert, but of course under a lot of pressure, and unfortunately Anderson will fall to the UMP. That shadow to find that kill. Suzu now to push over towards Archives. Now isolated in the one versus five. Drops Souffle, trade misses, but he's only got a ling a little bit, pardon me, off HP. It's flawless. 
for a team that often gets branded as aggressive. Cyclops at the moment playing very measured, very controlled. They've spent the last 90 seconds setting themselves up for this push. Black Ray gets a little bit antsy though. That shadow on the flank. Suzu going for the plant, denied by ED. So it falls apart a little bit here for Cyclops, but Gatorada can stabilize and turn it into a 3v3. Yeah, but they're just not in the best positions. Not going there. Oh, Away. oh but freebie! Gets fed up kill. Jackie just walked straight past. Why? You would have heard the, the repel. You would have heard it. You would have got the sound info. And AEG has been able to pick up the diffuser as well. Maybe that's why. Oh, well, denied. nice denied by Edie though, and then Pika gets the elimination onto Gatorada. Anaton was expecting it to push through, but unfortunately he waited too long. Nothing came, and they went straight for the the planter. And I think it ended up being that mirror watching on site that where I think they would have been able to find those kills so easily. The key standouts for me was literally the player pushing in through server just ran through the incendiary. And they just did, oh no. Well, that. Yeah, this is the final gas, babe. Seven more incendiaries available for Jackie Wu. The Shamika launcher. Ganarata from main stairs. He's oh. able to get the double onto Shadow and Jackie Wu. But there's one just above through Beepers. Hello, it's Pika. 20 seconds left. Three versus three. Final gas, babe, has now dissipated. And this is where Aegator needs to go big, as he usually does in red time. Cyclops close to sight, but no diffuser in hand. Yes, it's Suzu who's got it. Suzu now needs to stick it inside a lockers. Cannot get denied. Cannot be taken off of this. Black Ray gets ED. Aegator falls. Suzu got off of it because Die Walls were just mincing them on sight. The comeback is complete. In theory, you're sitting back thinking, we need to do something. And that's what Suzu has gone and done. Finds the elimination onto Sue Flight. We don't want to say over aggress. Don't. Try and push into areas that maybe haven't quite cleared all that successfully yet. This is a oh, very, Anaton. very interesting play, and it is oh! denied by Shadow. Wow. And kind of what I was referencing, Suzu, though, finds one back at least. And it's all of a sudden a three versus three again. But again, it, it's Cyclops trying things, not necessarily working out the way they would like. I still think they're in an okay nope. spot. I was just going to say they had Suzu on the hard bridge still up, but Shadow, so sharp in this round, gets his second. A lot of it left. And again, they're looking to try and establish a drone over a small office. Gatorada will now rotate off that information. Mirror pops, so we can try and play off that, but 30 seconds left. They need to fight kills, and Shadow's not backing down without a fight. There's three in this round, going for the fourth. Huh? Things have been rough going for them. And again, in this head-to-head -head matchup, I would be expecting them to take it quite easily. Aegator sends it in. Pika to find the first here on the map point round. Could well try and double down. Is stuck in a pretty tricky position, but not traded as of yet. Ooh. Though will be taken down. So not the absolute worst here for Cyclops. Yeah, a little shoulder peek. And then comps a bullet to the shoulder. <laughs> Shadow. Shadow just does the inevitable. So four versus four. And Minute 30 seconds remaining in what is this match point round. Bye bye in shadow. Black Ray easy kill. Cyclops looking to force the OT. 417 getting a lot of playtime, doing a lot of damage. And seconds remaining in said round. No Nitro Cell available for Jackie Wu playing in from front desk. That's a gas, babe. And as Jackie Wu actually found the elimination just immediately after we switched Nitro. off of him. Nitro Cell. Suzu's going for the plant. There is. Yeah. Nitro Cell called by Gars and called by Souffle. Three versus two advantage now for Dire Wolves. Plan is down though. Ooh. Cyclops, Anaton and Suzu to play off of it. ED should find this kill and does so. And Dire Wolves should very much find this map now. Anaton with the outside position on the repel, but it's a one versus three. And immediately Jackie Wu gets it done. The oh, they all jumped oh, out no though. Way. They all jumped out. No. They got time, surely. I think they'll get it. Seven seconds, of course. Why would they all jump out? What are you doing? I think they've got it. I hope they've got it, or they're going to look really silly. Ten seconds now to get on it. I think they'll be okay, but that was a little bit too close. <laughs> Even if they do make it here, which I'm still Wait. questioning. Oh, they got they it. They got it. Uh, that, I mean, that has to be what? Miscommunication? Or they've all just had the exact same thought process at the exact same time. A little bit tricky in the end, but the Dire Wolves still get the job done on bank, nevertheless. It's a 7-5 victory on their map pick here in the upper bracket final. one nothing in the series. Oh, they were trailing 4-0. To rebuild themselves internally for stage one of 2022. But nonetheless, I think we're maybe jumping a little bit to conclusions. Never. Um, so has to find some information, but can't really commit. Yeah, but pretty much playing the same way you would with the Montang, and then you've still got Gatorada playing off of the shield anyway. So Ooh. you ban out the Montang, yet you've got the exact same play style. Does get a little greedy there. 
Uh, and probably, <laughs> I don't think Anderton would have done that with the Monty, so... That does actually end up... Uh, Might be able to deny the push down main stairs. Got a rider elsewhere, denied by Souffle. It's a rotation from Cyclops. Over towards Blue, they look to drop the hatch, but they're met by ED, swings wide, and collects all three. Diables with a great start to Clubhouse. Wolves at this point in time, not really being forced to make a move at all. They can sit back and wait. They have control of main stairs. They can fortify that with ADS devices, juggled across. Kona Station well close by. So they're in a great spot. Yeah. Top red. Fully in control. ED can continue to throw out those gas babes. Peak has taken a bit of unnecessary damage. Kona Station's around, but he's unable to find his way to one of them. Still two more nades available for Cyclops. In fact, two smokes as well. They can do some damage. ED swings oh. top red. He is getting pushed on. Oh. Nicely done with the shotgun, though. On top of Black Gray. Into red time. No time remaining for this comp push. Suzu gets one, but immediately traded. There goes Ayagata. Jackie Wu has to hold for time. ED watches. Whites covers perfectly. Round win again for the Dire Wolves. Suzu as well to rotate over towards Jacuzzi. He'll be looking to open up that breach, but Shadow gets the opening kill. That's his third in the map thus far, and that's one of the hard breaches dealt with. Now, assuming Suzu doesn't open up Jacuzzi, they could be in a world of hurt, but there was nothing to deny that, of course, from Dire Wolves. So, pretty free real estate. Gatorada capitalizes to drop Pika, but Shadow once again oh, in on Shadow. the action. Three in the round. It's a run out and the diffuser is now on the ground. It is the Shadow and ED show right now on Clubhouse. 11 eliminations between the two of them in positioning. Leads me to believe Dire Wolves are on the verge oh. of a 3 0. Oh. Jackie Wu doesn't win it out anyway. I thought maybe with the shotgun, all he did really was just get rid of the soft wall. And now yeah, Cyclops sick. actually have a two on one. ED in logistics oh. under the pump, but sprays and finds the kill onto Aya Gate. And now it's a one versus one. Keep in mind, the diffuser on the ground over towards the diffuser will force Anaton into finding these picks, sends out Flash, oh. and he needs to be careful. He gets caught off guard. Cyclops to get the round out of nowhere. Oh. This is going to be a very, very messy mid portion of this round. And it means getting control of the kitchen is taking a little bit longer than Cyclops would have liked. Gatorada gets in a super play. That's the round. I, I don't see yeah. <laughs> Diables winning it now. There's too much in the side of Cyclops in terms of an advantage, unless ED goes big. He is now 8-1, and, one, and Jackie Wu gets a couple, but just like that, the orange side of the Ooh. kill feed goes up. So Zoop planning Diffuser, and Black Ray will shut down ED. No last second heroics for the Direwolves. It's a 2-2 two -two scoreline. Vices what? covering him from Gatorada, maybe hitting a nade. And Where's that from? And he's shot elsewhere onto Souffle, who's been a bit of a pain for Cyclops, but dealt with nicely what? in this round. What? Doubles down. Can we I don't know where he's fighting. Is this a hatch? Kills. No, it's This is over to stock. What? I think one what of them was doing. I think one of them was through stock hatch. Yeah, it was. You can actually see the little could be a factor. But you've got the extra player to just jump on down, go for trades, and now make it two extra players. Plus that adrenal surge gets everyone back up anyway. Except for Anaton. They won't need him at full health. Pika has got the down onto Anaton though now. Two versus two with 10 seconds remaining. Still Nitro Cell in hand as well for Pika inside of blue. So who's just got to plant that diffuser? In theory, right now, it's a two versus one. If they can push on this, deny the plant. They're not pushing into church just that all that Nitro. quick. Nitro Cell goes out. Does it hit the mark? No. Misses everything. But Pika Ooh. lands the shots on the black brain. And Edie will take out Suzu. What a roller coaster of a round. What a match we are seeing between Direwolves and Cyclops. It's 3-2. Oh, they are going in. Oh, they are. They're actually just going to send it straight through. Along with what? that, Arunigate as well. Black Ray's low, and they did lose Anaton. Now oh, they've no, lost Black Aegate Ray. as well. This is an awful push. The trades are in favor of Direwolves significantly. Gatorada, the last one alive on site in the one versus two. Wins this fight against Souffle, and it's certainly winnable, but Souffle <laughs> holds strong. That was indicative of what we've seen between Direwolves and Cyclops. It was a rush in the end. It even caught us off guard for making it difficult for Direwolves to even just push in. And they do get a massive elimination onto ED, right? And he was 12-3. and three. If there was one player you wanted to take off the board, it was him. You've got him off the board, and you've got a man advantage. Make it two. Gatorada starting to just get firing now for Cyclops. And if they are going to win here on Clubhouse, that's probably the player you would look to to have a sword. Sure. I mean, this isn't the worst of spots to hold the cross, but unfortunately, Jackie will no drop trade. Black Ray, able to find that kill. Pig sneaks forward, should find one, but shoots too early, taken down by Anderson over towards the church. And now Shadow's left with the 1v5, sprays one, maybe sprays two. 
but unfortunately that's all she wrote. And Gatorada goes out there. And I think when you subtle logistics, but either way, Anderson's low. needs to be picked up. Four v four. Anderson low, as you called out, but able to finish off peak with a gas babe. Shadow to follow up though with the trade minute thirty in the round. Oh, the Sufle swing will push in. What? Almost catches the back of Black. You can see his legs, but doesn't quite find the pick. Souffle just shoot, <laughs> just shoot, but he doesn't no. get taken down. He de injected Woo to collect the scar. You can see his legs, man. Was prone for days. Black Gray with the kill on his Ooh. Jackie Woo. One Gets traded by Ed. As you say, one v one. Ed and Gatter. And they've got a minute to juke it out. In fact, maybe. So Chance could go for the revival to Souffle. No, probably not. Being watched. 4-4 four, four on a half where Style Wolves aren't going to find too many attacking rounds. That's an easy one. Too easy. Gatorada on the defense will easily win that round. It's a 4-4 four, four scoreline, and it's a wasted opportunity down below. Have a strong man advantage. That would be a great spot. Jackie needs to win this fight, and he does. Wow. Yeah, and this is sort of the, the downside to this kind of setup, guys, is there's no trade potential either. You've got players in positions, the little off-angle spots, where if you lose that fight, there's no one there to trade for you. So they're just hard confirmed 5v3 at that point. Now, Suzu does get and there's something where they've learned from the last round of Jim Bedroom. Now, Suzu gets eliminated by Souffle. They're not running around. They're holding decent positions, holding decent angles, get the plant down, watch, wait, and eliminate. Four versus one, Direwolves. Well, they do punish Cyclops for sending it over to bar stage. Very much so. They'll take a 5-4 lead. And a Gator left up above with a lot to contemplate. How did the rest of the team capitulate? Why is he left in this post plant? But he's put out of his misery quite quickly. Divers to secure the round. And they fall all the way back over to site. And that's now cash established too. Bit and a half. But you lose Shadow to a Gator. Not ideal. And not sure how you're allowing the mute to find that opening kill. Where is that even happening? Is that a window? Don't know, but time to move on already as ED gets one back onto Black Ray. So it's a four versus four with just over 70 seconds available for Divers to convert this control from Cash Room across. Now, there's an aggressive peak from Con. Uh, don't worry about the drone, man. You've got a minute gator, left. Yeah. Let's take it down. Now Direwolves with a clear man advantage. ED with good information over towards main stairs. And Pika can hold that cross. Souffle eventually will secure that kill with a grenade. And Direwolves can now start thinking about moving well, forward. They've been stalled out for a little to, bit now. To be fair, remember back last time around round eight, this is where they had that one man advantage. And what did they do? They just pushed straight onto site and they blew it. They threw it away. You've still got 40 seconds. Don't rush this. Very much winnable. In fact, now you are very much... The clear advantaged team here with 34 seconds remaining. Four versus two. Anaton and Suzu not exactly been fragging out here. You've got the numbers, you've got the position surrounding site, and this time no one has rushed in. They will be able to get multiple angles. They will be able to corral site here. There's really nothing Suzu can do here. The Jaeger, Anaton loses oh, no. some damage as well. Souffle pushes in through Con towards logistics. And yes, Suzu gets a couple, but then you've got Pika taking out Anaton. Now they know of Suzu's position. Eating oh, no. throws away his life, looking for the trade. Oh. There's no time either what a calamity what a mess up from the dire wolves there's just no way you've allowed that to happen so i think this has just been at times their late round execution that's been letting them down the most <laughs> oh, this seriously. is this is map over by the way like we're done here so it's gonna be seven five we head over to villa after this so just in case there's gonna be people maybe just walking into the stream it will be a third map between Cyclops and Direwolves. Yes, it's still 3v5, but on the attack, an attacking side that Direwolves have struggled immensely, as kind of predicted by the statistics. Yet they had their chances, guys. This is where sometimes the scoreline doesn't quite tell the full story. Is there one last little hero play? Have I gone a little early? The answer could be yes, because Jackie oh, Wu is now sight. on site. He can get the plant down, but he loses ED. He loses his own life. It's a flawless round for Cyclops. Good half indeed. It's 1-1 here in the upper bracket final. We're going to Villa. Neck and neck. A messy, messy map between these two. But Cyclops, too good in the end. The last couple of rounds in particular are able to be the nail in a pretty frail cloud. I didn't realize you can read Japanese. <laughs> I can. It's my, it's my party trick. Yeah, I and a gator may not have any impacts left in the lifeline. Oh, like forward, take 
down and it's Ooh. in the trade. Now the vertical comes into play, but Black Ray able to avoid death. Yeah. Again, if the Os is really having the impact that they're looking for, I don't know what Pika is doing there, but the reaction time could have actually, and maybe should have won that, Misuzu peeking into the window. And that's just opened things up a little bit here for Cyclops. And again, this is where Dire Wolves have probably been at their worst. Late round execution, red time, they just lose these trades time and time again. Still a lot of areas to be cleared nice. though, and Anaton, well, putting the Osa to work late round. Jackie Wu gets one, Souffle follows up with two. Dire Wolves execute perfectly that time on the defense. They take the opening round here of Villa. Close to a grand final to play for a spot at the six invitational. Shadow does find the opening kill, but does lose his life to Gatorada. So it's a one for one, minute and a half remaining. Very much feels like a, a draw at the moment here in the second round. Bomb located by attackers. Very slow going. It's maybe not in comparison to a typical round of competitive siege, but punched as Suzu now looks to push in. I th believe it was because it was hacked, so the defender's trying to now deny that information from being used against them. Suzu, as we saw on screen with a nice vault, will find a pick back and in fact give his team now the man advantage. Yeah, and super disappointing because he got one job there, but that's to deny the closet vault seed and it still happens and you still lose that fight. 40 seconds left, you know, there's not a whole lot of time. Now Cyclops can go for Sai, and it's with another elimination. Oh, that headshot was there, and it's still found anyway by Jackie Wu. That's diffuser down outside as well, but loses his life. Anaton is going big on the Tokabi. Edi, though, over towards top Astro stairs, gets the elimination with the SMG 11. Might still get one more here. Doesn't. Loses that fight to Gatorada. SMG 11 backfired that time around. Cyclops will take the second round. Second round earlier. Gatorada straight into bathroom. He does find a kill, and maybe Pika can't win that. Never mind. I just thought while well, Gatorada was still a little bit dazed that Pika might just be able to win that. Player pushing into Astro. Did he just go prone? Oh. Gatorada might not see him. He doesn't. Blocking. Oh, now he does. Oh. Now he does. Oh, oh Edie oh. just gets caught. He was holding top Astro. Gatorada, four and one. And there really was, but Gatorada didn't capitalize. Still holding down this position. Swings wide, but Souffle with a headshot okay. makes it two. And he's making a round of it. Two on Diffuser. two now. Minute winnable now for Dire Wars. And they need every single round that they can get. And there goes Black Grey. Souffle's got three. Anaton's good, but... He faked Is it. He this good? He's faked Sneaks it. Forward. They don't know. He's oh. the trophy. Shadow, though, there for the trade. A bit concerned seeing Suzy go, I think, maybe bot red. I would anticipate that Cyclops get control of 90, try and open vault, but I don't know if they're leaving enough time. They could try and clear the shield on model, burn the gate, clear out Jackie Wu, then it would be a 5v3. Either way, though, they need to come up with something quick. Only 30 seconds left. Cyclops have twiddled their thumbs for the last minute, and now they're under a bit of pressure, but they're still okay. finding kills. The kill feed lights up ED in the 1v4. Twiddle their thumbs, eh? Just, they were just setting up for the execute. I was going to say <laughs> that, but they, they just didn't give me the chance. Just one logic bomb, one E, one D, and then three kills. Just like that. Round over. In the end, it was a very one-dimensional attack, but it worked nevertheless. And it is back and forth here on Villa. Both teams going neck and neck. That's going to be Brownstairs' side established. And it's not. And Shadow finds the kill onto Aya Gator, and things falling apart here for Cyclops on the attack. Model is a key spot. Can Jackie Wu continue to double down on these kills? No, but it's Pika elsewhere to inflict some pain. Now Susan Gatorada left in the 2v4, and Gatorada is low. Manages to get two, but the swing's too good from ED. He overcommits though. Gives Suzu an opportunity to maybe no time. pull off a miracle, but he only has 10 seconds needed to hit that shot, but misses. <laughs> does hit the flick onto Shadow, but needs to stick the plan. Jackie! We'll try and bait it out. Jackie needs to deny. Will he move forward? Will he be able to find the shot? The oh, answer no. is no. Suzu can stick oh the pistol my God! in hand, and he gets the kill. Suzu to win the round. Oh my God. Firstly, sorry for anyone wearing headphones, but holy... It's basically played to the book, to the stats, and how the... Oh, this is very aggressive, though, and Edie will will punish. Could have honestly just completely swung again. May still just do so. What is Gatorada <laughs> doing? <laughs> some oh, no. questionable plays in the last couple of rounds. I mean, heck, some questionable plays in this entire series, but...
Direwolves, they'll take a lead again in the round. This time, can they capitalize? This time, can they get the job done, surely? And it's in down at 90. Suzu trying to push up Brown stairs. Now, actually, he's got Blackgrave for cover. They get rid of Edie. Oh, he almost took off the head of the oh player God. peeking from Bar. But no, doesn't matter. Three versus one. Blackgrave surely doesn't lose these. Don't count anyone out from a clutch, Jake. You just never know. Oh, you never know. Nah. Die Wolves. No. Die Wolves. I'll leave. Now the 1v2. I'll quit. Souffle and Pika need to hold on for 60 seconds. Black Ray jumps on a drone, gets taken down there. The defender able to push back towards Bar. Black Ray surely does not win this one. Does still have time. That's, that's the biggest thing. But yeah, now they know it's inside a study. That's free intel. One versus two. I mean, it's not impossible. How many times have we seen one versus two? We just saw it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Back to back, 1v2s. That would be so demoralizing for the Diamonds. They know they have to play for time. I think the biggest thing here is being able to play off of each other. And obviously for Black Raid, it's trying to establish those 1v1s. And making sure that if you're going to get into a, you know, a fight with Souffle and or Pika, that the other cannot then trade you. Throws out the smoke. Now heads over towards hallway. Player towards 91 on site. He goes for the play on site. Somehow... No! 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 Oh my god! Back to back! 2v1 clutches for Cyclops! The angles! They're doing that now. Actually, no. That's the retake from Defender. Shadow looking to hold down that flank. Oh. Does get out oh. of the gas babe. If he had to die there, round probably over. But he does survive and Souffle gets a pick. Oh, does he find a pixel here? I don't know if he does, not from that angle, but... Oh, oh he doesn't know. He's going to die here. Is there a trade? No. Three versus three. He's down! Oh, 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 oh. He was oh. shot! Oh. Souffle stays alive for the skin of his teeth! He's got a little bit of health left. It's a two versus two. What is this game? Maybe now it might go the way of Direwolf. Some luck, some fortune. But they've still got to execute down the stretch. They're still 50 seconds. This is ridiculous. Winnable for Dire Wolves. And it's in on site. Dazed and confused. Gatorada's down below. If Dire Wolves can get site control, it might be winnable, but they're going to take the one down below. Dire Wolves, risky. Gatorada, does he get the kill? No. Oh my god. This is ridiculous. Do we find maybe another clutch round for the third time in a row? Playing off of each other now, Jackie Wu and Souffle. They are going into red time together. And of course, Souffle has basically no help. Jackie Wu has to go in first, picks up Diffuser, going for the default plan. There is a player down below. Nade oh. for Anaton. <laughs> oh, Souffle. Got to watch and get the player inside of Vault. He's got no idea. Anaton gets the elimination. No time, no chance. It's all Cyclops. And they take a three round lead. They've won four in a row. <laughs> Two beat. So close to. Serious point. Hikata though falls to peek up, but Anaton's there to watch. Anaton over towards living. Currently in library, so he has a good line of sight. Shadow elsewhere in the long hallway shuts down Anaton. Could actually pressure this player. There's a softball in front of you, Shadow. Spray through, but no, he doesn't elect to. Black Ray actually able to capitalize. Takes down to play. Jackie Brew needs to hit the trade and does. So it's not the worst of outcomes for Direwolves. In fact, it's quite positive. They still have two minutes to work with. And I was going to say a man advantage, but Suzu will seize that. Oh, taken down though. ED, he's stuck into Ford's pantry. Now Gatorada needs the clutch. Oh, Jackie goes down. Gatorada. Oh, ED has taken a bit of damage. Oh! ED's just run straight oh! past him. <laughs> My God. What is going on, dude? <laughs> All it takes is just one slip up. I, that's the biggest thing now, is not so much even them finding kills, but just them not making the mistake down the line, down the stretch. Okay, you lose Jackie Wu, but he was able to at least trade with Gatorada. A good player to get off the board. Anaton's still alive and active along with Suzu. Both have been playing well. Aegator 2 and 7, not usually like the Aegator we know. That's just the Gemini. Take it out from Suzu. So down a player, but two minutes on the clock. So very much Direwolves now in the position to maybe get a round back here and make that scoreline not as bad as it, as it is at the moment. 7-2 would not do them justice. Just under a minute 40 remaining now. And it's an over towards Astro with a good foothold. And keep in mind, he can jump on those yokais, gain information spots. One could be followed up with a nitrous off. There was one in play, but unfortunately, none in the hands of the remaining defenders. That will now poise him to reposition over towards stat, try and double down. 
on this hold down towards landing. Isuzu saw the planks, barrel. drops the Diffuser 3v3. Yeah, saw that barrel sticking out, Shadow. Souffle falls to Aya Gaida. Easy one for Anaton, never mind. Nice little turnaround from ED. Now has a chance for a 2v1 of his own, but Aya Gaida shuts him down. Pika and Arian 8 has struggled immensely here on Villa. But a chance to atone for those struggles and does so. Big headshot, big elimination, and just keeps Dire Wolves in this series. Pika in play with the IQ scanner, maybe even the nades in the hands of Jackie Wu. We could see players go down below and try and find kills. Pika, though, he already finds two. I think he's just walked straight up the stairs, dropped the Gator right up, got a rider part of me, and Aya Gator, but eventually we'll feel the pain of Suzu does try to straighten out this ship, which is rocked a little bit in this 10th round. Very explosive start. And Souffle will find yet another for the Davos Valley. And, and this is where you now can just build that momentum for yourself. Again, I think in some ways, uh, some ways when it was 6-2, Direwolves maybe converted back to that no-pressure scenario like they were in coming into this series. I mean, heck, coming into these qualifiers, Suzu should win that. Never mind, doesn't even win that, that fight. And, and this is the thing now for Cyclops. Yes, you had that 6-2 lead. Now it's going to be 6-4. And, and now Direwolves are getting kills. Now Direwolves are getting momentum. Now things are looking up for the Direwolves. And now it's been so long ago, Flash just straight on site, straight into Library. In fact, they've even got Shadow pretty close by as well. Who's got Diffuser? It's Edie. They lose Jackie Wu though, so you're down two players. Now you're playing for site. Now you're playing... Oh, there's an EDD right there. I mean, it, just plant. Just plant the Diffuser. But the retake, I think the retake's going to be on here for COG. They've got five members. They can send it inside, play Vert. This is going to be really tough for Diwood's What? You... I'm, I'm done. I'm actually done. You literally saw it, Souffle. You saw it, and you've allowed ED... I'm done. I caught... I... How do you allow that to happen? You're looking at it. What? <sighs> oh, it gives me a headache. I'm sorry. I shouldn't do that. Bring some hype. Now you bring the no, hype. No, what, what hype? That's it. That's <laughs> the round over. <laughs> My god, there's some mistakes. And Cyclops win the round to claim the match. GG's in chat. Cyclops in to the grand final. Yep. There you go. I'm sorry. But that is just staggering. Again, it's the same storyline we've been saying.